previously on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. You don't even know your no own name either! Hobo the Camel? <laughs> Who's Hobo the Camel? And then the adventure continues. No Joker. Let's do it. See the- oh god. Please don't be obscure. Please don't be obscure. I think that's Bubble Gloop. I think that's Bubble Gloop. That's not Bubble Gloop. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Click Clock Wood? Oh, no! Well, that failed. Okay, well, um... <laughs> see you back at the final square. Okay, here we are back here again. Let's see if we can actually get it right this time. Oh, again? Another one of these? Well, that's a lot easier. Got it. And then, Grunty's Furnace Fun was completed. No one can win, it was assured. By the makers of this board. It's not fair, I want to win. How I long to be real thin. Now you can take the prize on show, while up the winding stairs I go. You won't catch me, I've made sure. All the credits you'll now endure. Okay, well, she's gone. Which prize shall we take, Kazooie? Me, 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 me! Eh, uh, how about that grotty ugly thing? I think we should take Tootie. That's what I went! Kazooie! Please, can we go home now, Banjo? I've had enough adventuring for one day. Well, sure. Let's get out of this dump. And now we have a little credit sequence. Not the official credit sequence, but still. You're gonna see all the wonderful names of the people who worked on this game while seeing a smaller character roll call, I guess you could say. Uh, I guess just uh, just to let you guys know, uh, this game is not over. We obviously still have to kick the witch's butt. I mean, come on. The end of the game is not going to be that easy. But we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, also, for that trivia game, some of the other challenges you can do. Uh, the memory game in uh, Gobi's Valley... Uh, I believe you can also do the, uh, well, you obviously have to do the, uh, Mr. Vile Crocodile game. Uh, you have to fight that one boss in, uh, Rusty Bus Bucket Bay that I broke so badly. The, uh, Boss Box, or whatever his name is. Um, I think the, uh, Sliding Puzzle in Mad Monster Mansion is also there, but don't quote me on that. And I think that's it. There might be a few others, but I can't think of them right this moment. Or that might be it, I don't know. It's hard to say. Oh, the turtle game. The turtle music game is also there. I don't know if anything from Freezy Peak is there, though. You would think, like, maybe the Twinkly Muncher game or something, but I don't know. But yes, we get to see all of our favorite characters in live 3D action. Oh god, it's you. That's what he sounds like. Big noisemaker. Why are you laying down again? It's like some of these characters pick the worst poses to uh, show up in. I think it's technically when you first see them, though. Like in the game, not counting the uh, cutscenes. <laughs> okay, stop talking, Waza. Only because your voice is annoying. Yay, my best friend! Trunker. 
there was actually a question about Trunker in the um, in the uh, second run through the trivia game. And it was actually funny because uh, Trunker was the one that guessed the right answer. Like, uh, it showed a picture of Trunker and it's like, what's this character's name? And then Trunker was the one who said it's Trunker, so... Hey, Trunker actually gave us a freebie right there. I hate you, though. You're a jerk, Gobi. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Do we get to see Mott's hand? My second favorite character of the game? No, not the toilet. That's a bad character to show off. No, you didn't show Mott's hand! You don't show Mott's hand, but you show the stupid dolphin? Okay, dolphins aren't stupid, but still. <clears throat> okay, beaver. Okay, we're almost done. Moving and shaking. Yes, moving and shaking. That's the best part of the game. And then Nabnut and his, uh giant acorn stash. Okay, here we go. Hurry and get us home, Banjo. <sighs> I'm going as fast as I can. Hey, look over there. We missed a carrot. Got him. Are you happy now? Okay. I always like how they go out of their way to get the carrot. It's funny. And yeah, there we go. It's party time. <laughs> Baron Bird did good. Help Mumbo beat Witch. but they needed my amazing moves to do it. No way, me and Banjo were the stars of this game. What's the party for? Grunty got away. So get back up there and finish the job. All right. I'm not going. <laughs> yes, you are. Of course you're going, Kazooie. Why wouldn't you go? But anyway, here we are, back at the uh, end of the trivia game. Hey, look, we're the star prize. I know. Uh, let's see. Uh, nothing happens if we step on that, but... Let's follow Grunty and go up here. And there's the uh, second cauldron, so now we can get back here without traversing the board. Which is a nice little shortcut, I guess. And now we actually need notes to finish the game. These are why you need around 900. Because there's actually a lot of note doors here. And we also have a puzzle we can fill out. It's not over, stupid bear. See my picture over there? To fill it up is no mean feat. Lots of jiggies. Make it complete. Well, there you go. Took all but six of our jiggies. Okay, so now let's keep going. Hey, look, it's the machine that um, Grunty tried to use to... This turn Tootie into an ugly thing and uh, herself into something beautiful. There is actually a game over cutscene that corresponds with that, but I'll show that at the end of the project. Anyway, this is actually the wrong direction because we need to go up. Oh, cool. It's Grunty's Cauldron. 
Ow! What disgusting smell! Ooh, visitors for Ding Pot. I like visitors. It's a wonder you get any, sewer breath. Ah, uh, what does strange birdie thing mean? Er, uh, she said that we're looking for Gruntilda. Do you know where she is? I sure do, Mr. Bear. Grunty's awful, you know. She was sickin' me earlier on. If you can get rid of her, I'll be free. Don't be so sure, you silly pot. Soon I'll have you nice and hot. See these filthy clothes I've got? When I've won, you'll wash the lot. Don't worry, Dingpot. We'll sort her out if you can find us a way up there. No problem. Just push on in and I'll fire you up the top. Jump in there? No way, Dingbox. Come on, Kazooie. You get a chance to peck the witch's butt. Let's go! Well, before we do that, there are a few things we can do here. There are a number of note doors surrounding uh, Dingpot, and each note door has something cool behind it. Hey, a giant blue egg. This will actually restore all of your eggs. Over here we have a door that's 882. Don't want to go on that one yet. What do we have next? We have 846. This one restores red feathers. So yeah, it's kind of a restock room, which is very handy. Yes, Dingpot, you told us already. You didn't really want to be reminded of that fact, but thanks for doing it anyway. And finally, this door over here. It's not a restock room, but it is a very helpful room. Because in here we have one more puzzle. This one takes only four pieces. So we have two leftover jiggies. There's two leftover jiggies. There's no purpose to them. Uh, I believe that when Rare was making this game, they left those two just to give a little leeway for those who wanted to get everything without getting all the jiggies, I guess. So that's what that is about. Well, with that being said, I think it's time. So let's uh, jump on in and go fight Gruntilda. Gruntilda. 